Oh, you must be Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Yep, you've probably seen that stylish Gerda Hotel above ground, right? Uh, not the most pleasant memories of that place. That's the above ground branch of the Grand Hotel. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Gerda family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. He eventually realized his dream and opened a hotel branch in the most expensive area on the surface. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Or walk around a bit more first? Clemency? Never heard of it.
go ahead and call it. <sighs> time to rest again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. That Oleg, he seems sincere. What do you guys think? Happy now? She's even starting to sound like you. It has nothing to do with me. But if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry. Ah, oh, fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess this is the Cosmic Wild West. <laughs> oh, anyone else sleepy? You seem pretty exhausted. Don't overexert yourself. I'll do it. I'll keep watch. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. It's just, you're a Silvermane guard officer in the underground. Might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. Silvermane guards have a lot to make amends for down here. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Cocolia, I get it. It's meaningless to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and rest. I lost her. My wish. Your so-called plan. What is the point of it all?
How could you begin to fathom? You will never understand. Never! Voice again. Such a strange dream. May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep. Who goes there? Show yourself. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? Mm, I understand. The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? Your confidence actually makes me even more worried. This isn't like helping a child make a snowball. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabon. As far as I was concerned, Madame Cacolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. I don't need you to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open. The passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the Underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman Guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong, but how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy, but he knows that better than I do. Uh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get, which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I, I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place. 
with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, the quieter things are around you, the louder... I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still, whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. <laughs> I'm grateful. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Somehow. The situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around and causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anchor isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up! I never said you could join us! People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> with you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit and you'll arrive there. <sighs> let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful, don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. 
When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us. Thank you. If we hadn't run into you two, Zila would have had to venture into the Fragmentum on her own. I know it's not her first rodeo, but the thought of her taking on those horrid monsters... I can't help but worry. Well, she grew up before my eyes, after all. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Zila has been like this since she was little. Impulsive and eager to be the best. For people who don't know her, they might find her... difficult. But you can trust her, even with your life. Stick around a bit longer, and you'll see what I mean. We're here. This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. Let's go, and watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. There are probably some monsters around. We can't see anything here. Let's find higher ground to get a better view. Way over there. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Uh, never mind. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivet Town's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Careful! Enemies ahead. These aren't like vagrants. It's too late to repent. The truth of life and death, revealed in an end to this century, is but a vision! Let's go. Pretty good crowd to let's arrive! Couldn't have done it without me. A uh, restaurant? <laughs> the most famous restaurant in town. Natasha would bring the kids who behaved well here for a special meal. 
So, did she ever bring you? Do I seem like I was a goody two-shoes? Of course not. This will strengthen our position. are made to be broken. The second strike! It's too late to repent. Let's make it quick. Better up! Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Worth our while. The facilities here seem to be in pretty good shape. Not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it, it does seem a little... Could people still be living here? Impossible. There's a bunch of crates piled over there. You're annoying! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. This is our chance. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant, this century, is but a vision! Fight! This is our chance. <laughs> Time for the main event. Reach the end of the story in your own way. It's too 
late to repent. Let's make it quick. Clemency? Never heard of it. Rules are made to be broken. It's too late to repent.
Move carefully. Let's go. A guest with no manners, huh? Rules are made to be broken. Take a strike! I don't remember inviting you. <laughs> You can't run! Truth of life and death, revealed in an endless sanctuary, is but a vision. I don't remember inviting you. Stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! You have the worst luck running into me! With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. Clemency? Never heard of it. The time is now. Try that again! A guest with no manners, huh? Who's the lucky one today? Me out here? How can we lose?
The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Friend! Rules are made to be broken. done it without me. to repent. Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Let's go. Let's make it quick. Take this!
This will strengthen our position. You're annoying! Just a scratch. Clemency? Never heard of it. Rules are made to be broken. It's too late to repent. Let's make it quick. Take this! I don't remember inviting you. Look out! You don't take more than that. You can't run! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Try that again! The truth of life and death. Revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision! I told you I 
could fight. Watch this! Let's go. Clemency? Never heard of it. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sensual is but a vision! I don't remember inviting you. Me out here? How can we lose? Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Step aside. I have no interest in stealing cotton. <laughs>
With me out here, how can we lose? Take this! The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! I don't remember inviting you. Rules are made to be broken. running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present! Try that again! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! with no manners, huh? <laughs> A gift from the stars! It's too late to repent. The time is now. My turn! With me out here, how can we lose? Stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Stop! You have the, the worst luck running life into me! Revealed in an this sanctuary is but a vision! Let's make it quick. I don't remember inviting you. <laughs> A gift from the stars. Clemency? Never heard of it. Let's go. Who's the lucky? 
lucky one today! No interest in Stop. Let's make it quick. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. I'll be empty. Now even the monsters are gathering supplies? The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got here and took everything before us? It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. Hmm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. Eric? Hey, Brat! How could you come here by yourself? Oh, don't you know how dangerous this place is? Sila! Uh, you aren't the boss of me. I can go wherever I want. It's none of your beeswax. You took the materials and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you going to get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Um, there's always a way. Don't be so polite to him. Everyone in the underworld knows this brat is a no-good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. about that. Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. Two hundred. What? Two uh, hundred shield? Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? Not much, but I didn't bring my coin purse. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I really need money. My daddy. Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! 
Zila, that's enough. It's Eric, right? Here, you can have this. What? What's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. Thank you. I... But you'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? I... I promise. I'll never steal things again. Then it's a deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. Thank you. Whoever you are. You guys can take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Oh right, uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further, you'll have to go to the shopping street. Got it. Thanks for the tip. That object was pretty important to you, right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Eric said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way. This is the street, all right. The orphanage should be at the end. These shops and signs, what do I feel like? The entrance to the orphanage is up this way. I wonder what the old place is like now. Maybe some things will still look familiar. These stairs, they seemed almost there. I didn't expect this place to be so well preserved. You know, if we could have worked together to push back the Fragmentum, maybe we wouldn't have had to take off and leave our homes behind. <laughs> Cheese! <sighs> we made it! Hmm, it's been so long, but this place hasn't changed one bit. It looks like there's a lot of stuff piled outside. Let's go see if there's any rubbing alcohol for Nat. These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? <laughs> Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? <laughs> Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. No, empty. How are they all empty? Who could have? Careful, enemy behind you. I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. 
<laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. This is it for you, pal! Move carefully. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! Move carefully. My turn! The truth of life and death, revealed in an end of this century, is but a vision! Let's go. Who's the lucky one today? Go away! Drop! With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. Better up! A guest with no manners, huh? <laughs> A gift from the stars! Clemency? Never heard of it. <laughs> it's too late to repent. The truth of life and death, revealed in an invisible, is but a vision. on by myself but still fighting alongside you two was pretty fun <sighs> should be all clear now let's poke around the kids at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here if I remember it right there ought to be some supplies for our cuts and bruises stored in that corner there I just hope the monster didn't get to them. It wasn't my imagination. Huh? What are you talking about? This building? This playground equipment? I've seen it all before. <laughs> what? Come on, the overground and underground have been sealed off from each other for over ten years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an overworld princess. Wait, unless... before that... Yes, it's a possibility. That would explain why my memory of it is so blurry. Come on, I need to look around a bit more before I can be sure. Hmm. 
I found this. Here, take it. What is this? A brooch? Natasha would often teach us how to make different handicrafts. This must be some kid's masterpiece. And why give it to me? You gave your medal to that kid, Eric. This thing might not be as valuable, but it's at least a replacement of sorts. But didn't someone work hard to make this? I can't just take it from here. <sighs> you sure are prissy, huh? Just take it. Hey, don't sit on it. It's filthy. Ah, it sure brings back memories. I still remember one time I swung super high and everyone was scared I would fly off. Who knew swinging could be so intense? At the time, I wanted to swing myself into the sky and fly up to the overworld. So dangerous. You're lucky to have lived till now. <laughs> Aren't we all though? We've looked everywhere but here. I hope my memory is right. It's... Ah! Yes! We found it! Great! It's barely damaged. Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Hmm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? This is... This is... Something from when I was a child. When you were a child? Are you sure? Yes. I remember now. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away. Be before Madame Cocolia adopted me, I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. You're an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then... Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future, I will become the guardian who leads Bellabog. <sighs> Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so blurry. The architect said that the guardian successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the overworld and the underworld will be tested. In the end, only one child deemed as worthy will be chosen. I, I must have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does Nat know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past. And thus... I became the daughter of Madame Cocolia. My only identity is that of guardian successor. But I'm not.
not good enough. Every day I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum, but I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The Underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. Uh, what? <laughs> what? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? You can hide in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal or survive to the next week? <sighs> even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? Well, if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! You're right. You're right. Self-pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you, Zila. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. <sighs> I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? successor to the guardian of Balabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay, I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. I should let those two people alone for a bit. The only thing left to find is painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. Mention it, Clara. Warning, warning, danger detected. Protect, Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Perkins. I've seen this person before. She... she's not bad, right? Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. for these painkillers too. There are a lot of people hurt at the vagrant camp. I guess the miners are no different? <sighs> if 
everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Mm. Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. Mr. Svara, he... He's my family. I met Mr. Sparg when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Sparg doesn't trust any humans besides me, especially everyone from Wildfire. He heard that the miners and vagrants had begun to engage in a large-scale conflict. He wanted to stop everyone from getting hurt fighting over the mines. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground. But Mr. Sparov wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, the overground is already unsafe. Yes. Mr. Sparag is very stubborn. He says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Sparag, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Sparrow won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Sparrow. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. Clara! What are you doing here? You're... Miss Sela from Wildfire. I came here to... Why are you helping the Vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? N no it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the Vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp. So I wanted to help them out. Also, not all of them are bad. <laughs> Miss Sila? Did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then... Can you give me some? The Vagrant's injuries are quite serious. I see. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know Nat, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Great! Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And... I have some more things I need to look for here first. <sighs> Understood. Be careful. Plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, painkillers. Great, that's everything. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back. Zila, nothing if not punctual. <laughs> so, did you find any usable supplies? Oh, let me 
me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers, rubbing alcohol. Ah, oh, perfect. That's everything I needed. Huh. It's just, there are less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? Clara? Huh. If she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. <laughs> I think you made the right decision. <sighs> Still, it means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, right? Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. I'm sure they won't mind. They seemed in good spirits. I bet old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. Already? Aren't you? We didn't get any rest last night. You're gonna have to step it up, you know. My record is six days no shut eye. something <laughs> uh, it's good to have everyone back together let me get straight to it regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld your friends have gone over both with me again the last time I saw Kakolia she was an impressive young lady I never thought that after becoming the guardian all I can say is that I sympathize with your situation rest easy Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner, but at least you're offering a road forwards. We Underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now, and you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Maybe it is, but I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the Underworld. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. <laughs> he wouldn't understand. You're forgetting he's a robot. It'd be faster to smash him to scrap metal. We should make preparations for both approaches. Of course, it's better to settle matters through peaceful means, but if the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment's notice. Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarag, without success. He has no intention of engaging with us. At our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Svarag's robots don't fear sacrifice. I don't want to risk underworld lives, but things have changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Sparog. I may not have the full picture, but perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. That would be best. <laughs> Our scheme is coming along nicely, but I fear that Svarog just isn't the swaying type. You'll understand when you get to his territory. Things never run smoothly down here. And what about you, Miss Silvermane? You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svarog. I'd like to hear your plan. Well, the Underworld is still a part of Bellabog. 
If Svarag's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. <laughs> Excellent. An enlightened answer, young lady. And spoken like a true successor to the Guardianship. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svara. Wildfire's relationship with Svarag has been hostile for a long time now. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. Mm, I'm on it, boss. 